All right, so I got like a hot second. I wanna talk about some of the responses to Joe Vegan. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. All right, so uh, there's a couple of things I wanna cover. I, one thing, I do wanna talk about some of the responses to Joe Vegan. I'm just really interested in the way that, you know, different folks in the vegan YouTube community have been responding to this whole thing. I wanna talk about just like some serious business. I hope that people are continuing to follow what is happening in the Trump White House with this investigation into the whole kind of Russia conversation and whether or not the Russians were trying to have an influence on the election. Flynn, who was our former national security advisor who was fired because he failed to disclose some conversations that he had had with a Russian ambassador. He has come forward and he's offered to give some testimony to the, I believe it's the Senate Intelligence Committee. Also, there's this whole thing that Nunes got some access to information and he walked that back to the White House when I don't know if he was supposed to, but then it turned out that it may be that the White House leaked the information to him to begin with and it's just a mess, y'all. All this to say that there clearly is a lot of smoke, but it's gonna be, I think, a little while before we get this whole mess cleared up, but I hope, please do continue to follow it because this is gonna have a huge impact on the Trump White House, especially if we find out that he cheated. Not to say that he did, but clearly this is something for us to be paying attention to. Also, what is it? Are we in the age of the dictator? Now it seems that the leader of Turkey is trying to basically make it a dictatorship. He wants to change the constitution so that he can be president for like another 12 years or something like that. We got some drama going on in Venezuela. Please, I hope y'all pay attention. Read y'all news, y'all. Stay up on y'all business, y'all. Do you guys like my scarf? I know maybe it's a little much, but this was a gift from the Indonesians when they came to Alt Space. Thanks a lot to Gay Gear and Tim Bill and Visnu. Thank you guys so much for coming and thanks for my nice gift from Indonesia. This isn't like in any particular order, but I am gonna save kind of the best for last. Mad Vegan basically had a nice little point by point. Like she just responded to the various concerns or accusations that Joe Vegan was making. It was pretty easy to kind of dispel most of them as just making excuses. And I'm gonna say right here, it's not that Joe Vegan needs an excuse. If Joe Vegan makes the decision that he's no longer going to be vegan, it's not the easiest thing to be a vegan in this world we live in where there's all of these external pressures to make it difficult. If you really wanna do it, most people in the Western world can do it unless for some health reason you find that you can't. Then my man Juice was not having it all. My man Juice was just like scam artist, not feeling it, a lot of people supported you and you don't have now anything nice to say about the vegan community. Juice was kind of through and I kind of have to hand it to the guy for just being honest and saying what was on his mind. Surprisingly, the vegan cheetah is just one of the bunch in this. It was interesting to me that vegan cheetah focused a little bit on the fact that Joe Vegan had given up what Vegan Cheetah considered a good thing. Now, considering that Vegan Cheetah is part of the drama game, of course he's gonna look at that aspect of it, so that's what he looked at. Vegan came at it from a more personal place, really looking at Joe Vegan as a friend and said some things that were really kind of loving and supporting, and it's one of the things that I really love about Vegan, so yeah, Vegan, just keep being that person. I only got the best transformations response kind of second or third hand. I'm not sure where the best transformation fits in all this, but man, I don't mean to be um, insulting Joe. I didn't catch your take on it. Did Vegan Gaines make a video about Joe Vegan? I didn't. It was my first time seeing a video from the Flem face, and I have to say that I really kind of enjoyed the take on it. The Flem face was a little less kind of, I don't want to say sympathetic. The Flumface definitely wasn't being insulting towards Joe Vegan, but definitely picked up on some things about Joe Vegan's excuses that were a little bit insulting, particularly the way that he talked about people with eating disorders and the way he talked about people with mental illness, somehow insinuating that veganism or vegans play on 
people with mental disorders or with eating disorders. Flamface seemed to be a little bit insulted by the whole thing, and I kind of don't blame them. Saving the best for last, Karen at the Lost Lemurians video, how to react when people quit veganism. Karen, as always, you approach the matter with such heart and such sympathy and such empathy and I won't reiterate all of the points that were made in that video but I will include a link to that video and all the others that I'm commenting on in the description box below. Even if you have said something negative, it's never too late to go back if you've had a change of heart and apologize for the hurtful thing that you may have said and use this as an opportunity to show that the vegan community isn't a whole bunch of, you know, jerks. Bruce Webb, who's an awesome supporter of my channel, said that there is always going to be a high rate of recidivism from people who go vegan who will slip back into consuming animal products. And we just have to be prepared for that. And we just have to keep finding a way to invite people to think about a different way to live. Again, veganism isn't a cult. We're all having our different experiences. It's a struggle for all of us in one way or other. Even though we may be fully committed to the animals, it doesn't make this journey any easier. So again, a thank you to Karen from The Lost Lemurian for just showing us how to be a human being. I gotta get out of here, y'all. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself the way